everyone, Alana here. Now today we're going to be doing something really special, really exciting. It'll be Ella and I's very first lesson together and I thought I'd share that with you. Now before we get to into the video I thought I'd give you a little bit of background on Ella. Um, so I got her uh, around the spring of last summer. She's a 15-2 black trichina mare. She's fully registered, she's not been graded yet but we are going to be seeing about doing that soon hopefully. Um, she has got some lovely breeding. Her grandsire is called Hohenstein, who's a very famous stallion, and he is actually the son of another very famous stallion called Caprimond, and they are both awesome. Um, I got her, she was backed as a youngster and then ridden away. Um, and then I got her as a broodmare when she was just coming 10, so she was 9 at the time that I got her, she's 10 now. Um, we've been working for quite a while, um, just getting her strong enough to be able to do stuff. Uh, we recently went out to a little competition, unaffiliated dressage, tried Novice 27 and Novice 30, I think? Um, and it was actually amazing. She did so brilliantly. I cried. If you've seen the vlog, then you know what we did. But I actually cried after our first test because we've never had a lesson before. Um, and I just got really emotional because it was all just Ella and I every night out in the dark, out in the cold, just working, working, working. Um, so she is so incredibly smart, she's feisty, she's super sharp, um, but she, there is something really special about this horse. I do think she is my special little golden girl, that's, that's, her, full, that's her full name, golden girl. For the future with Ella, we are planning on bringing her with us to the British Dressage Northern Region camp because whilst Halen and I would have a great time at camp, I think it would just be the perfect atmosphere to get Ella going out, getting her used to going away because eventually we want to be going away to shows together and everything. Um, so I think it would be just a great opportunity for her to get used to that sort of thing so she knows that it's not something that she needs to get stressed about and actually it would be fantastic to get some excellent instruction from some of British Dressage Northern Region's top instructors um, and so we can get just like going places, you know? <laughs> In the future I would like with Ella to get to Grand Prix but that is assuming that she stays sound. Um, so we're just going to try and go as far as we possibly can together. Uh, she's definitely got the work ethic, she's got the attitude and she just tries really hard so I know that if she does stay sound, which all fingers crossed touching every bit of wood I can find, um, we're just, we're going to do brilliantly. I, do you know when you can just tell? Um, there is something about Ella that has got me really, really excited. So I've had Ella for quite a bit now and we've just been taking it really, really slowly because when she came to us she didn't have any muscle or anything. So it's just been a really slow road, hope like pushing her on, getting her better, but taking it in her own time. There's there's just no rush whatsoever. So recently I've had some trouble with when we went out last time. Uh, we did the dressage tests and it was all beautiful. The trot work is fantastic. That is going so, so, so well. But in the minute, because she's such a forward horse and I've always had horses that I need to push quite a bit to get to, you know, move from a halt. Halen, I'm looking at you, babe. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ella is a very forward thinking horse. She's really off it, you know, she's really quick. Um, so when we're in when we're in canter, we find well we find I find that she gets really fast and that we get really unbalanced sometimes. So I thought what better way than to get Christy Lee Batty to come help us because she was absolutely brilliant. When I had Katrina and we were training her in the very beginning, she was absolutely fantastic. So I knew that Christy could deal with a young horse perfectly. Um, and seeing as Christy primarily teaches jumpers and that does little show jumping clinics and everything. Show jumpers are all about the steady canter, are all about improving the quality of the canter. So we got Christy out and we got her to come out and have a look at how Ella was cantering and see if she could do any exercises with us that could help her get better. So I'm going to head to the yard now. Um, I'm going to go get Ella all tacked up. I'm going to be in my emerald green today. I've got my equestrian Stockholm emerald green saddle pad and I've also got the ears. So we are in the full ensemble. 
I'd also got a pair of holographic boots, like tendered boots and overreaches. So go, we will be looking fine. Um, so I'm gonna go go get a ready, get a tail brush, get it all shiny. Um, there is a little bit of snow on the ground, so I'm hoping for some really pi pretty pictures and some nice video. Um, so let's get crack a lacking. <laughs> So the very first thing that Christy noticed was that I hanged on way too much, relying way too much on the inside rain to keep Ella in a steady canter and we were still blasting off and going really quickly. So she took us back down to trot and she had us going over three poles going round the corner so we were going round a bend to get Ella to loosen up in her back and get her to soften and get more supple and then she had us go over them in just a trot so that Ella could get used to going over it slowly and realise that there was nothing to be worried about about these poles that she didn't have to view it as a challenge, she could just go over it quite nicely and happily One more circle You feel there? She just started to open the can around, didn't she? She came out of that circle If she does that again, circle her Good girl, look where you want to ride She then had me establish the canter, get it going quite nicely, get me to sit back and relax and actually breathe out before getting to the poles. The first couple of times Ella zoomed over them like I was on a motorbike so it got quite special at times and she did throw her dolls at the pram for a second while she had a bit of a stress out about doing these poles. But once she realised that there was nothing to be worried about, she seemed to really settle down and she actually managed to go over the poles lovely, really calm, collected. I was off the inside rein, so I was fine. I used my inside leg to put onto the outside rein because when I used too much inside rein, it was actually putting her onto her outside shoulder and making life a lot more difficult for me because I was actually unbalancing her making her rush and making it get faster and tenser, making me get tenser and it was just turning into an overall not pretty picture. So once I'd breathed out, I'd relaxed, I'd got my inside leg on and then used my outside leg as well to help steer around the corner rather than anchoring onto that inside rein. She went over the poles lovely. Now the poles on the ground were about three big strides apart, so about nine yards apart and there were only three of them. And it was just going around the corner so Ella had to sit back, use her hand and get over them nicely and calmly and that was all part of the exercise, just getting her to chill out and do it nice and calm and actually get her supple and bending around that corner without the use of this inside hand. Good, good. Relax the inside hand. So then Christy put another three poles that are on a circle in the middle making it a lot more harder for Ella to do this because she didn't have the opportunity to rely on the fence to get around the corner and it was a lot more difficult for me as well to be able to move her and turn her off the track onto the circle into the middle without holding onto the inside rein. So we went and practiced that and this was a lot more difficult, Ella found it a lot harder and towards the end you could see her struggling a bit more but she did try so 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 hard so I was really pleased and we actually managed it in the end so I'm really happy about that. Well done. Come over your wooden ones again. Bit, go a bit wider, help you turn a bit. Outside it. That's 
Sit one more time to these. Get out the bench a bit more, then apply your outside leg. Turn your shoulders. So that's your inside hand. So what we did was, we went onto a circle in the middle, established a nice canter going round, came down the outside track, went over the poles that were in the corner where Ella could rely on the fence, then go onto a circle in the middle and go over the poles that were in the middle. We did this on Ella's harder rein first so that once she cracked it on that rein, her reward could be doing it on the rein that she finds easier. off our lesson Christy actually had me let go quite a lot just breathe out sit there relax because uh, quite often you're breathing and then I sit like a ball on a back and I get tense so she gets tense and then she gets tense so I get tense and we just feed off each other all the time and she had me stretch Ella right out in the trot and then just go over the poles trying to get her to keep her back nice and soft keep her head nice and down because we didn't want a hollowing or going over the poles um, and then once she cracked that, we were able to just pat her and say good girl because she was absolutely fantastic. Good. Good. Have you wanted one? Good. Get her, get her more up and then stretching out again. Good. One more through there, she's not allowed to come hollow. Good. Push her down into that contact, push her down. Stretch that. One more over there, she's got to stretch through there. I know she's getting tired, but she's got to give you something there, that's better. I'm going to try and maintain that through these poles until you finish. Kneel it, one more. Good. Look up and around where you want to ride and push her down to that contact. Oh, don't worry, don't get frustrated, it's alright. That's it. Little flex and soft. Good. Yeah, that's it. Now she can walk. Walk her off. Right, as you're walking off. So after an absolutely fantastic lesson, I've come away with a lot of homework. Now these exercises with the poles, whilst I'll be able to do them without Christy being there, so I'll be able to do them by myself, um, I actually won't be doing them every night, every week, because Ella does find it really hard, and it's so easy to make a horse go sour on work by doing stuff that, yes, the horse might need, but is actually very hard for them. So you don't want them to find work always a drag, always having to do so much hard work because that's how we feel about school i'm joking <laughs> please go to school anyway um so i will only be doing these exercises about once or twice a week um three times if i'm pushing it but between times i will be doing a lot of hacking so i've got a friend who lives just down the road from the yard and her and I just go out on our horses and we have an absolute blast we go all around the countryside and we just have a genuinely generally great time uh, especially once summer starts coming the nights are already getting so much lighter we will be going out a lot more we'll basically be doing more hacking than schooling <laughs> every week and um, 
there are a lot of hills around where the yard is as well so I'll be getting Ella going up and down them as well and try and get rid of that show jumper's peak that's on her bum and try and get her a nice little round peachy bum uh, which means that she'll be nice and muscly and which means she'll have a strong kind end. Uh, hopefully we'll start seeing that neck get a bit wider as well, can't wait. Um, not only will we be doing the poles, I'll also be cracking out some of the jumps from time to time. Um, so just so she gets that mental break. So the hacking and the jumping is just the mental break from the constant schoolwork because, like I said, it is so easy to make a horse go sour. Uh, in about a month, Christy will be coming back and see how we get on and she said that we might even get on to try in some cavaletti. So, well, some raised poles, so I cannot wait for that. So that is all from Ella and I today. I really hope you've enjoyed watching Ella and I's very first lesson. We have had so much fun and we felt like the actual bee's knees. So I am really pleased. I've had a fab day. Um, again, I really hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias at Alana Clark Question on Instagram, Facebook and also at Ace underscore Question on Twitter. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading new videos all the time. And for now guys, it's goodbye!